I want to talk about something else that's happening in the market that's a little bit unexpected, and that is what's happening with Apple. For the last six months, stock is down 20%, a little more. Erin, what's this about? I mean, I think that the, this is the culmination of a lot of fears that people have been having sort of over the last year. Um, can Apple repeat the iPhone? Um, you know, obviously, like, the Chinese market is becoming saturated, so Apple's growth opportunities are kind of slowing when it comes to phones. Everybody has a smartphone, and not as many people want to upgrade every single time. So the growth, I mean, Apple has had extremely crazy growth over the last year, and they've beat all of the projections as far as profit goes as well. We know they're not going to be able to continue that, and so this is investors just sort of adjusting that. And you know, we also had the phone or the the watch launch this year, and it has been a little bit lukewarm. It's it's not looking like it's going to be the next iPhone. So I think that's investors adjusting on that. Right. Front I mean, too. this has always been my thing with Apple. What goes <laughs> up eventually? Nothing is perfect forever, and for a long time, yeah. Apple was really almost perfect. So Aaron, but I, I would just add that you know, Apple has has not been a bellwether for the stock market overall the last couple of years. It's gone in its own direction. In 2013, I believe, it, Apple stock went down 50% because people were concerned that Samsung was eating their lunch and they had missed a cycle. And then they came roaring back. So I think what's going on with Apple right now is more about what Aaron is saying. People are concerned what's going to be the next big hit for them because they are so dependent on the iPhone right, right. now.